If you click away from this, it's going to be the worst mistake you've ever made. That said, let's talk about this blockchain that I just found. And guys, I want to point out here, anything in this business that makes me go green, it's worth looking at. And something really cool about this is that it was the whale team, not the dev team, that reached out to me to promote this video. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is a new blockchain. So far, it is fantastic. Now, and here's the really cool part. There's also a launch pad for new and upcoming tokens that they're going to launch with the DevX platform, and they will have an exchange. Now, I'm unsure at this point whether it's going to be a centralized or decentralized sort of exchange, and I don't know the parameters and particulars of it, but it's coming along with this package. So let's kick this off. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. I am merely an entertainer, a promoter on YouTube, and I'm going to give you the information about this. And I'm going to suggest before you do any investment that you do your own research and that you look into this for yourself. And if you find value in everything that I've brought to you and you can verify it through the white paper and the information that you find in your own research, then this might be a worthy investment to add to your portfolio. It's coming in right now at about an $8 million market cap, which means that it's about 140X away from a billion dollar market cap. It went as high, I want to say is about 45 million just about a month ago before the market started dipping. So this is a fantastic opportunity in my opinion. But again, as I'm not a financial advisor, I can't tell you what to do with your money. I can only tell you that I found this project. I'm gonna show you this project as a promoter. And then you tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is it. Dev E, D-E-V-V-E. -E. Uh, you can find it at dev.io, D-E-V-V-E dot I-O. -E -E uh, basically, it is... The green blockchain. Now, I'm going to scroll through here just a little bit. I'm going to ask you to go look at it for yourself. Uh, there are quite a few partners that are starting to come aboard. Uh, there's ways to contact. This is a very nondescript sort of site at this point. But let's move over to the about section and let's talk about some of the stuff here. Uh, unlocking the power of positive chain in the platform. Uh, this right here is where it gets a little bit crazy. Guys, I want to read this to you so that you, you can see what I'm talking about at this point. This is without knowing any of the partnerships other than, you're just looking at me right now. 8 million transactions per second, sub-second finality, 10 million times cheaper than Ethereum, one third billionth the energy use of Bitcoin, the only ISO compliant green cryptocurrency. Guys, it doesn't get any clearer than that. 8 million transactions per second, sub-second finality, 10 million times cheaper than Ethereum, one third billionth the energy use of Bitcoin and the only ISO compliant green cryptocurrency. Patented architecture, patented fraud theft and loss protection, patented privacy, patented regulatory compliance, patented cross-jurisdictional compliance, integration via simple RESTful APIs, accessible to over 20 million developers, seamlessly converts Web 2 to Web 3, enterprise application in the market. Guys, this is all about real world assets. This could be the next big RWA blockchain that we're looking at right here. Here's the team. Uh, Aaron Adeliki, social media. Uh, Federico Guillermo Walter at support. Uh, Eugenio Javier Garcia del Torre at uh, support. Ray Quintana, CEO. David Broadbent, Marketing and Operations. Christopher Burlidge, Head of Digital. Ash Singh is the Director of Marketing. Uh, Bellum Tamayo uh, is Business Development. And guys, nobody is not doxxed here. This is, this is, these are professionals here. Uh, Ahmet Can Gunlamp, Finance. Uh, so you've got a full team and you've got press coverage here showing they've, they've been in Cointelegraph, Crypto News, Forbes, and Coindesk. Um, and then here is, a, there's a, just a lot of different people out here that are already talking about Dev E. Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity and the white paper, which I've already downloaded. We're going to get into that right now. I'm going to skip forward a little bit on this, by the way, and I'm going to get you to some of the important things and it's the token overview. So the only platform again, 8 million transactions per second, all of the stuff I told you before, plus maximum supply, 300 million tokens, which means at a billion dollar market cap, that would represent roughly at full circulating value, about $3 per token. However, only 20 million are in supply are in circulation right now. So let's kind of break this down a little bit. 
uh, as of right now, it launches an ERC-20, largely from a regulatory perspective. It's used on DevX mainnet, may require some additional regulatory compliance aspects, depending on how the token will be specifically used as a utility, which is in the final stages of design and consultation with the green light from the AMF to deploy as an ERC-20. This enabled a fast route to market with exchange integrations, where the token can be used to tie into robust DeFi ecosystem and evolve into other areas of utility when and where applicable. And of course, this can easily be bridged over when the time is right to uh, Solana or any other blockchain for trading purposes. However, there's going to be some utilization here. We will migrate Dev E to Dev X using an Ethereum bridge. So you will be able to bridge this over uh, into Dev X when it's launched. This will happen in the future when all the aforementioned legal and business considerations have been checked off. There is no specific time frame as this is beyond our immediate control. Now, the circulation schedule is the one that should be interesting to you. Uh, we've consolidated the token issuance across six different categories. There was 97.5 million that are in the private round with a 10-month linear vesting. There was a public round of 6 million fully vested. 13.5 million uh, goes into the uh, 1.35 at TGE, then 24-month linear vesting for the marketing budget. There are exchanges that are saved up 10.5 million for exchanges, 13.5 million for liquidity. The team has 9 million tokens with a 12-month cliff. So... Uh, after a year, and they've been out for about two months, then they're able to sell. So uh, the Forever Association's tokens will be 150 million. That remains uh, the remaining 150 million will remain in the custody of the Forever Association. These tokens will typically not enter circulating supply unless they are purchased by governments, large enterprises, or fund managers that will often be subjected to long-term staking schedules up to 10 years. There may come a time where exceptions will need to be made, such as the opportunity to launch DevE on a Tier One exchange where additional tokens will be required for liquidity. The Forever Association reserves the right to make these decisions from their pool of tokens and unequivocally state that this will only ever be considered in cases where there is a clear definitive value add for all dev e stakeholders so um there's a lot going on phase two uh for this we have previously mentioned the concept of phase two uh and i'm going to implore you to read through this update this is in fact updated just yesterday and we're not going to dig too deeply into this but it is important for you if you are a serious investor to look at the white paper and go over it i'm going to give you basically the introduction of Dev E, and I'm gonna let you decide for yourself whether this is the investment for you and what, what you need to know. We already know 8 million transactions per second, uh, one third billionth um, less energy use than Bitcoin. This is, this is what Bitcoin would have been if it would have been made today. So we're gonna talk right now about the primer. So this is in the white paper, um, Dev X blockchain is layer one protocol developed by our ecosystem partner, Dev.io, who will be responsible for future development and maintenance of the underlying software protocol and the associated tooling, which is foundational aspect of, to the development of the Dev.e ecosystem. The Dev.e token launched and managed by the Forever Association is the exclusive platform token and the lifeblood for enabling the utility functions the ecosystem is capable of providing to the next generation of Web3 technology. DevX is an ISO compliant green blockchain consuming just 2.1 joules of energy per transaction with next to zero in gas fees and will be used by the Forever Association to manage all assets and its associated data within the DevE ecosystem. Assets and data within this ecosystem are going to be managed by the DevE ecosystem. Another way to view this would be to consider that DevE's ecosystem is an overarching application zone that enables developers to inherit the features and functionality of DevX and through the utility application of DevE within their own product design. Benchmarked at over 8 million transactions per second with sub-second finality, the DevX is a unique layer one that is composed of multiple T2 shards or independent blockchains. These shards communicate and perform global transactions ordering through a single T1 cross shard mechanism while simultaneously performing their own local consensus operations. We call this novel consensus mechanism proof of validation. This is something new. Importantly, any node in the network on any shard who is opposed proposing a valid block for their local consensus round will also be called upon by the cross shard mechanism to also validate the authenticity of cross shard transactions contained within that block for global ordering. So you're looking at by far the fastest blockchain made yet with, uh, I, I wanna say there's um, one out there, Caspa maybe with a million transactions per second. This is 8 million transactions potentially per second uh, with fractions of the cost that you are currently paying 
for transactions. This is a, a robust ecosystem that is only going to expand as partnerships are announced and, and as additional things come. Now, we're going to move on from the white paper and we're going to start talking about some of the socials to give you an idea of some of the activity, what they're looking at, what they're doing. Uh, are they active? Is this, you know, you, you guys, these are things that you would want to know, right? So first up is Twitter. And uh, this is a uh, you know, basic layout. We're excited to announce further details regarding our staking programs. Staking Dev E offers significant utility beyond traditional rewards. The Dev E Launchpad provides exclusive staking opportunities for Dev E token holders with unique advantages. For a comprehensive overview, please visit our Medium article, which uh, you can go to the Medium article and check that out if you are so inclined. We are very excited about the future and we'll keep providing you with insights. So you have staking opportunity as well. Uh, then you have some videos here from Ray Quintana. Uh, Dev E solves all problems facing cybersecurity today. Even world-class security agencies have seen the groundbreaking tech we are unleashing. So, um, and verify again. If, if you're if you're interested in this, then you're going to verify. And they are an open book when it comes down to it. But let's move on. Let's check some of the links. Uh, the official website: Twitter, Discord, Telegram, Telegram announcement, LinkedIn, Reddit, Medium, YouTube. Everything that you need in order for you to make an informed decision about. Dev E is right there in front of you. Now, we're going to move on to price action. As we get into price action, I want you to remember that we have a market cap here. The market cap is about $8 million, and there's only a small percentage so far of the circulating supply of, of, of the supply circulating at this point. So um, uh, the vesting schedule is long. So uh, this has a, a unique opportunity in this ecosystem to really, really grow and could do something exponential but let's check it out all right guys so upon launch it went up to two dollars and 25 cents that was a massive 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 move right now retrace back down standard fib retracement a little bit more on the fib retracement than you want to see what you like to see is you like to see that golden ratio get hit and then you like to see a, an immediate and specific bounce coming from that location now unfortunately uh, as you guys are aware we're getting close to the having and the market came down just a little bit more uh, you can also see that from around this time right here if i were to go into some of these altcoins you see the same thing happening with most altcoins and as a startup this of course is a, this is a liquid opportunity for people who were early adopters and early investors to take a little bit of profit along the way so uh what does the chart look like well if i'm uh, if I'm being honest, when you come down into this range, what you normally expect is to see a bounce into the 382. You're going to see a five, uh, a 0.5 move on a Fib retracement. So I would expect to see a dollar 26 coming pretty soon. Then I would expect to see a dollar 49 get tested. Now that's where it becomes, you know, does it is it successful within this range? If it's successful within this range, of course, we get the 236, and then we get a breakout. Now if we get a breakout. What does the breakout look like? So we're going to turn off our tools. We're going to put a ray up here at the top at 225 to give you an idea. That not the max right there, but uh, what are we looking at in terms of a reversal? Well, there's not a lot of trade volume except at 65 cents right here. So what I think you're going to see is a little bit of a move from this cut right here at around 68, 70 cents. Uh, you're also going to see a little bit of resistance here at 95 cents in this little range right here. And then this is where you get the big and the bold move, which comes up into this little range right here, coming in, clocking in at about $1.13. Fantastic opportunity for early adopters and early investors for an easy, it looks like at this point, 3x just on the retest. Now, when we get beyond the retest, then you're looking at this sort of range right here. It might be boring with details right now, but $1.50 seems to be the sweet spot for it right around now, coming into this little range right there. A uh, dollar forty-seven. We're going to call it a dollar fifty. So, when we do our fib retracement, that of course uh, shows us that you know we're not that far off, or just kind of coming into the ranges of the three eight two that I told you about before, and the six one eight, and uh, inside that golden ratio, uh, halfway down the golden ratio, which you saw it pegged at right there before. So, this has an opportunity for a fantastic move before the launch even happens. Now, uh, when we come over here to Dex Tools, Dex Tools makes it easy for us to 
look at some liquidity, makes us look at the market cap here, the volume, $492,000 worth of volume. Guys, this is a significantly traded asset that's happening right now. 1.24% uh, or 1.24 on the volatility scale. Uh, total market cap, 25 million at this point out of a total supply of 155 million. Remember, 155 million of the, or 150 million of these tokens are locked with the Forever Foundation. So, um, you know, we're, we're not going to see too much. And this just launched on February 7th of 2024. So, you know, you have an opportunity here for just a fantastic sort of run. Now, we're going to check out coin market cap and let's see what it looks like there. So, as you can see right here about an 8.3 million market cap, the market cap is going to fluctuate just a little bit based on the self-reporting circulating supply, but you can see the volume here at 1.159 million. It is available currently when we check markets through Uniswap V3, which of course we knew that, we just saw that. It's tradable on GateIO, MEXE, BitKet, Hots coin, and then Biloxi. Biloxi doesn't seem to have a little uh, much volume here, but if you want to buy some on MEXC right here, $248,000 in volume, gate IO, $372,000 in volume. So, you know, significantly traded so far for an early uh, adopting token. And at this point, it's not a coin yet. It is a token for the moment. So I think Dev E represents a fantastic opportunity. This is a risk asset as with everything. This is a risk on asset. There are things that can go wrong with any project. However, if you take the time to review this white paper, if you take the time to come to this website, go through the Twitter account, go through uh, the Telegram, go through all of the links, verify the people, look at all of the pieces that are in place right here, I think you might find that this is a fantastic opportunity. Now, I do want to straight uh, st stress to you one more time, I am partnered for one single video. I took my payment in tokens because I wanted to be part of this. And I thought that it was important to get in early on this, if you will, ground floor. So um, um, you know, I, this might be the only video that I do, um, or we may see something else. And if something else comes up and I start to see a lot of movement out of it, we might be talking about this a lot. So um, I, I, guys, I think that there is a, a an enormous possibility here that this thing has a fantastic sort of run. Now, that is my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. That is my opinion. And that's the reason that I took tokens for this purpose. Now, uh, at some point, I might be tempted to sell my tokens. I do have a plan for that. So I, I, I want you guys to know that I did take tokens. I don't look to dump on anybody's chart. What I want is small amount. And then the rest of it, let it run, let it ride. I want to see this thing get to $10. You know, it goes to $10, then I'll feel pretty good about it. You know what I mean? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Go through this, check this out, and then Tell me what you think. If you saw this on X or if you saw this on YouTube, wherever you saw it, give me your opinion of Dev E and what you found so far. Also, remember, I think this is a really good one. I think this is an opportunity for you to get in on the next CASPA, the next Arbitrum that you're getting in at the ground floor or potentially the ground floor of something that would have a fantastic sort of journey. And let me point one thing out in closing. Fully diluted market cap for this project right now, $137 million. This thing has got a long way to grow, if you know what I mean. This thing is going to be a big time winner, again, in my opinion. If you agree, make your move. If you disagree, thank you for tuning in, but uh, I think you're going to be missing out. So after that, it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, and I hope that you find everything as positive as I did. And maybe I'll see you in the telegram. You have a good day. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.